Today I thought I would give a brief update on my uh, 1963 International Cub Lowboy engine rebuild project. The other day here at the shop it was just like Christmas. I opened up the box that my uh, engine rebuild kit came in. Uh, I've got all the goodies here. We've got uh, four shiny new pistons to be installed in the engine with the piston rings. We've got main bearings here, rod bearings. Had the valve train kit in here with uh, there are new valve springs and keepers in there. We've got the Victor gasket set here and some of the new valves. Uh, I've been doing a little work here on the block. The broken head bolt that was in this hole right here I got removed. It was a little bit of a time-consuming struggle, but I got it out without uh, ruining anything else. I've got the deck cleaned off here. I've got the cylinders honed, so they're all in good shape. I've got the new valve guides installed, and I've also uh, got some of the valves ground here, uh, the valve seats reground. Now, they weren't too bad. The, the exhaust seats were a little pitted. The intakes were pretty good, but I'm just touching them up with the uh, valve grinder anyway. So, this is my old uh, valve seat grinding set. Uh, if you go into a modern machine shop and watch the machinists grinding the valve sets, this is not what you'll see. This is uh, 1950s vintage tools. Uh, we've got a got a variety of stones here and different pilots to go in the uh, to center the arbors in the uh, in the valve guides. Uh, this is the tool that I use to keep the stones keep the stones true to keep the stones all uh, all true with the with the correct angles on them. Uh, this engine uses a 45 degree cut on the valve guides, or on, excuse me, on the uh, on the valve face and the valve seats. Uh, I also have a valve refacing machine that I purchased with this uh, with this valve seat grinder set. I oh gosh, I've had this for about 20 years. I used to do used to rebuild a lot of. Uh, automotive engines and use it a lot years ago. I haven't used it much lately, but, but I still have it and uh, and it still works. So I'll give a little bit of a demonstration. I've got four of the valves ground here and I've got uh, two of them still to, to go. So I'll, I'll put the camera down here and give a little demonstration. I've got the correct pilot here that goes in the valve die. This is the smallest one I have. This engine is a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit smaller than uh, than a lot of the automotive engines I used to work on, but my equipment is will just work on. It's almost too big, but I've got the pilot installed there in the uh, in the number two exhaust valve. Get my driver here. I've got my stone on the arbor. Put it on the pilot there to guide it squarely over the valve seat. And I don't have to take too much off this, just a little bit. And check it out. It's still a little, I can still see a few of the pits there. And I'll take a look. That doesn't look too bad. These are not worn very much. It really doesn't, it doesn't take much uh, cutting on them to true up these seats. These are really not bad. I don't think this engine has a tremendous amount of hours on it. I'll take a new exhaust valve, put it in here, and just tap the valve onto the valve seat and I can I can see from the contact point there that it's 
the main contact is right in the middle of the valve face, which is just where I want it. Um, if it was too much to the outside, that wouldn't be good. I, I would uh, use a 30 degree stone and flatten it down, flatten the seat down a little bit. But uh, that looks really good, so I'll put that in there. And I'll do another one here really quickly, just do the, uh, the number two intake seat. This won't take much at all because the, the intake seat really looks pretty decent. I'll just give it a really light, light hit with the stone just to make sure everything is all true there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll pull the pilot out. Get my new intake valve. Tap that on the seat a few times and see where it's contacting. And again, that looks pretty good. That's just about in the middle. If I wanted to be really, really, really fussy, I'd tap it just a little bit with a 30 degree stone. It's it's in the center, it's just not quite in the center, but I'm not gonna mess with it. It's pretty good. So As the day goes on today, I'll uh, quickly finish grinding these other two valve seats. Today in southwest Wisconsin, it's actually above freezing outside. So after I get the, uh, the valves ground, the, the rest of the valve seats ground, I'll, I'll pull the valve, all the valves out. I should be able to... Uh, wheel this engine outside in front of the shop here and give it a really good bath this afternoon as long as it's above freezing. I'll, uh, I'll wash everything out. I'll, first I'll degrease the outside then I'll get some hot water and Tide laundry detergent and give it a good scrubbing, as, uh, get everything all nice and clean then bring it back inside, dry it off with compressed air and uh, either bag it so it uh, doesn't get dirty or I'll start assembling it this afternoon. We'll see how, uh, how time goes. So uh, that's what we've got uh, where we are so far. And uh, I will post more progress.